everybody uh, welcome back now we are going to see the canonical ensemble in the quantum statistical mechanics in this ensemble uh, different from the micro canonical ensemble the macro state of a system is defined through the parameters n v and t number of particles volume and temperature and we know energy is a variable here the probability that the uh, system a system chosen at random from the ensemble possesses an energy er is you know it is determined by this factor exponential minus beta er okay in classical statistical mechanics as well there we saw in a canonical ensemble the probability is proportional to this exponential minus beta er where er is the energy of the state so the density matrix in the energy representation again the energy representation is therefore taken as rho m n equal to rho n delta m n okay our usual definition rho m n equal to rho n delta m n which is first, uh, the rho n the diagonal element equal to c exponential minus beta e n where n can be 0 1 2 3 etc c is a constant and this c can be easily determined we know the total probability or if you uh, take the trace of the matrix it should be equal to 1 okay the total probability is 1 so sigma n rho n is 1 so c is 1 by 1, up, 1 upon sigma n exponential minus beta e n which is 1 by q n beta so q n beta is the partition function of the system so this is the partition function of the system now uh, in the energy representation the density operator it can be written in this form rho equal to sigma n uh, this is a uh, ket phi n rho n bra phi n this is a notation used in quantum mechanics okay the validity of this result is shown here Suppose I take the kth element of this operator, okay, kth matrix element of this operator. I I can get it by taking the um, inner product with phi k and phi l, okay, phi k and phi l. So sigma n, this phi k will combine with this phi n. So we have this, this phi l will combine with this phi n. So phi n phi l rho n in between this. And since this is an orthonormal basis, we have the inner product of phi k and phi n as delta k n, and this is delta n null. Okay, and we have uh, rho n in between. And as we sum over n, we know this will be non zero uh, only when uh, this uh, is. Uh, no, when uh, the indices are equal okay so uh, we have this uh, rho l when n becomes equal to l this will become one in that condition we will have delta k l here delta k l rho n okay so we sum over n so as we sum over n when k is different uh, from n and n is different from l it will be zero and when n becomes equal to l this will be one and this will be delta k l okay and this will be rho l so rho k l is rho l delta k l and it is identical to rho m n equal to rho n delta m n the definition of the density density matrix okay so we prove that a dense density operator in energy representation can be written in this form since rho can be written in this form for a canonical ensemble i am taking rho n as exponential minus beta e n over q n beta okay so this will be 1 by q n beta comes outside sigma n exponential minus beta e n phi n uh, phi n and uh, this thing sigma n phi n phi n this is equal to 1 okay that is equal to 1 that is a uh, result 
that we get from quantum mechanics. So sigma n phi n phi n in this form that is equal to 1. So we are left with e to the power minus beta h over q n beta. And q n beta we know how do we get q n beta? That is sigma n exponential minus beta n. That is actually the trees of the matrix. That is actually the trees of the matrix. Okay, so we have rho equal to exponential minus beta h divided by trees of okay, q n beta is trees of this e to the power minus beta h. So in canonical ensemble we represent rho in this form. The expectation value of a physical quantity in this uh, the physical quantity is G, corresponding operator is G and uh, its uh, expectation value is trace rho g okay trace rho g that is 1 by q n beta for rho i can give this e to the power minus beta h over trace e to the power minus beta h so that is substituted here okay and here uh, we have changed the order it can return return in any order because this um, this one will be commuting with h Okay, G is commuting with H. So I can write it like this trace G e to the power minus beta H over trace e to the power minus beta H. We consider an example of an electron in a magnetic field. The electron, the single electron, it possesses an intrinsic spin of uh, half H good sigma. Okay, whereas this sigma is a Pauli spin operator. Okay, so electron possess, possesses an intrinsic spin of h cut sigma and magnetic moment mu b, mu b is e h cut by 2mc. The spin of the electron can have two possible orientations up and down with respect to the applied magnetic field. Okay, and the magnetic field is in set direction. The magnetic field is in set direction um, and uh, the Hamiltonian in this case that is given by minus mu b sigma dot b okay minus mu b sigma dot b and that is minus mu b b sigma set you know b e magnetic field is in set direction as we take the dot product of sigma and b um, the component of sigma parallel to b sigma cos theta that will be equal to um, sigma set so minus mu b b sigma set so this is the hamiltonian and in the representation that makes sigma set diagonal okay the representation that makes sigma set diagonal we have sigma set equal to 1 0 0 minus 1 sigma x is this sigma y is this and see the sigma set is diagonal here okay so we choose such a representation so that the sigma set is diagonal in that representation okay sigma set the matrix corresponding to sigma set is diagonal so if you take e to the power we are actually going to calculate the density operator rho which is e to the power minus beta h trace e to the power minus beta h that we just saw the equation uh, e to the power minus beta h is e to the power minus beta in this case h is minus mu b b sigma set so that we substitute here so that is e to the power beta mu b this is 1 0 0 minus 1 in this representation so that is equal to exponential as we uh, take the product and uh, exponential so that will be e beta mu b b 0 0 e to the power minus beta mu b b okay so this will be e to the power minus beta h so this is e to the power minus beta h and rho is this rho is e to the power minus beta h our trace of e to the power minus beta h trace of e to the power minus beta h is the sum of this okay so this will be the rho so this is the density operator corresponding to 
an electron in a magnetic field in canonical ensemble. Now we uh, obtain the expectation value of sigma set. So how do we find the expectation value of a operator? It is by taking trace of rho g. Okay, so I am taking trace of, of rho sigma set. Okay, rho sigma set. So rho is you know um, actually it can be a sigma set rho as well because they both commutes. So I have taken uh, 1 0 0 minus 1 okay the sigma set and this is for the rho okay e b to the power e to the power beta mu b b 0 0 e to the power minus beta mu b over over this the trace that we just found so that is given here rho is given here so uh, this will be um, as we take the product we will get this okay and we have to take the trace of it so it, that will be e to the power beta mu b b uh, since we have minus here okay this will be minus so minus e to the power minus beta mu b b over e to the power beta mu b b plus e to the power minus beta mu b b which is the hyperbolic tan tan h of beta mu b b so this is how we find the density matrix and the expectation value of a quantity in the canonical ensemble formalism. In a grand canonical ensemble, we know uh, the density operator here, it operates on a Hilbert space with an indefinite number of particles. We know in grand canonical ensemble, number of particles is not fixed. Okay. Here, uh, the chemical potential is constant, mu is constant, mu, boolean and temperature is constant. The number of particles is not fixed. So, rho must commute with the Hamiltonian operator. Okay, rho commutes with the Hamiltonian operator as in canonical formalism. And there will be a number of operator. Okay, it commutes with the number of operator as well, whose eigenvalues are 0, 1, 2, etc. Okay. So, uh, we have uh, the Hamiltonian operator uh, corresponding to energy and we have a number operator n which corresponds to the number of particles and the number of particles here it is a variable quantity. In this case the rho is defined like this rho equal to e to the power minus beta h minus mu n okay over set of mu vt we know this is the grand partition function okay uh, and this grand partition function is actually trace of this trace of e to the power minus beta h beta h minus mu n okay so trace of this as in the canonical ensemble okay so this is the grand partition function and uh, the ensemble average of a quantity g that is given by trace of g rho okay trace of g rho or, or rho g so that is g uh, into e to the power of this operator rho is what we see here is the rho rho is e to the power minus beta h e to the power minus beta mu n uh, it's trace okay we know it's trace divided by the grand partition function. So in this ensemble we can find the ensemble average by this equation and the density operator is given by this equation. Remember here we have two operators the Hamiltonian operator and the number operator which corresponds to the different uh, possible number of particles in the system 0, 1, 2 etc.